Virgo, this is your reading for December 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading. Who knows this, whatever I do. Also visit Enchanted Sky. I am now offering your yearly readings. If you are interested, you get a 12, uh, five minute tarot reading for the year. You get an astrology for kind of like an overshot, a, a overview. You get a numerology, life path, and mediumship all in one big package. So go to my mediumship um, uh, pages. Um, it would be on merchandise. And um, you can take a look there. So instead of going to services, go to, to merchandise. And I will get back to you as soon as I do. I've already got 10 people. I'm only taking 50. So, because I figured I'd get, I'd be too, too busy with it. Because it takes me a couple days to do your own chart. Okay. Blessings to you. And um, joke of the day. The joke of the day is, um, why did the gym close down? He knew he just couldn't work out. All right. You're having a great, um, you're having a pretty good season. However, be careful. There's something unexpected with money. There's like an unexpected, I, things are going your way, um, but they're telling you not to overspend, to keep it in balance. You're going to want to overspend this year for some reason. I, it, it's, uh, you're going to be, it's, you're going a little beyond your means. They're, they're warning you to be careful because there's something here that, that you may have to pay about that you don't know yet. Okay. So they're warning me to tell you that it's verbal too. So it's a verbal thing. And so you want to know if you're going to, it's so funny because you have the sun and then crossing you is the moon, which is very interesting. Um, is it, everything going to be okay? That's basically, is there something that's hidden? And yes, there is. You don't know what this is and I can't tell you, but they're telling me to tell you to be careful with your money because there's something that's going to pop up that you might not like. Like it's, it's kind of like a defeat a little bit or but not quite because I still see it's something that might end up working out it's something to do with the internet okay so maybe you're going to get something like an email saying hey did you know you owed this money so just be careful okay and they're telling you everything don't overspend temperance and man way back when the temperance movement was people who did not drink because you know they were keeping us staying grounded and in control. So that's what the temperance card represents. And there is something verbal. So they're telling you very nicely in a ni very nice way in these cards that something's going to pop up. So make sure you keep some money back and don't overspend. You're going to want to this year. Don't do it. Okay. Now I've got a new deck, and this new deck is. Um, it's called the it's it's the nightmare before Christmas. So I thought you know before Christmas I thought I'd read this card deck, and they coincide to the other cards in this deck and my other decks. If you guys don't know the decks I use, um, I do use my peanuts ones on on and off. I like it a lot, but um, the deck other decks I'm using I've used for over thirty years. They're the same deck. I lost actually lost cards and replaced them just that one single card. Like, I don't know where they went. They just disappeared. Sometimes that happens every once in a while. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, let's see what we get here. Let's see. They're kind of cute. See, look at it. Um, we've got the Queen of Potions. So, it's the Queen of Cups. So, we have a King of Cups. So, we have a Queen of Cups. Now, this can be you, you, using your intuition. But it also can represent a um, Scorpio, Pisces, or um, uh, Cancer. All right. The Queen of Needles is the Queen of Swords. So there's a woman of power or a very good communicator coming in. Now, this could be somebody in your family because remember, this is all family-based. Now, this could be a, a, it's an air sign. So it would be a Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Uh, the Eight of Potions is the Eight of Cups. So there could be some choices, some things you need to know. Be careful. We go, here we go again. Okay. And the king of wands. So it could be somebody that you're dealing with. That's a very, um, uh, a doer, extroverted, that type of thing. And you've got it upside down. The seven of cups. So be careful in 
what you do again. Here we go. That there's just, I think that there's something hidden and I just can't even explain it. I just know that you may have something and we have an, a six of cups upside down also. So that's telling me that this is kind of an emotional thing and I so just be careful of it, but it's something that it's just not expected. Okay. So just be careful. That's all. Other than that, it seems like it's going to work out for you because it's going to be an end up being okay and you're going to go forward with something. But just be careful. Blessings to you. Make this a great month and have a great new year.